Hi guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. So today I am feeling fall festive. So I have pulled out one of my favorite um, scented fall candles. This is the Autumn Walk. I purchased this from, this one was from uh, Michael's after the season last year. It's only $6 regularly and I think I got it for like $1.50. So anyway, I pulled that out. I'll get that going and we can pull out all of our fall bins so that we can start decorating for the season. So let's get started. Okay guys, and here's all of my fall decor bins pulled out. So I have a total of 10 boxes and bins here. And then also on this side over here, I pulled out different wall art and wall decor pieces because I am going to change out some of my wall art and wall decor because I want the um, you know fall feel and I'm also doing the Tuscan vibes. So I pulled out some items that I felt like would go along with the Tuscan fall feel. <laughs> and so yeah, I'll move you guys in closer so you can see everything. Okay, so starting with this first box, I already showed you guys some of this in my Christmas in July haul. Um, I had some fall things mixed in with it, so these large leaves were from the at-home store. They were in that haul, and so was this 40-inch, 48-inch uh, tree skirt. You guys know I'm going to be putting up my fall tree, so I got that one. This was in that haul as well. Now, I think that's it. Oh, well, and I think these are also some items, yeah, from the at-home haul that I showed you guys already. So, I won't go over that again. If you guys want to see that video of all the fall items that I got from the at-home store at, um, I think it was like 90% off, then I will link that in the iCards above. Okay, so these are some items that I picked up from Target last season. Um, it was on clearance. I, this was regularly $3, and so, I don't know, I, I, I think I got it for a dollar or something like that. But this little green truck, so cute. And I also got the little autumn sign. Again, that was regularly $3. And I have the little truck in blue as well. So I have the green and blue trucks. I don't know if I'll use these this year oh this one's chipped a little bit I didn't notice that until just now but anyway I may be using these in my decor somewhere maybe in the kitchen maybe maybe in my coffee bar I don't know but so that's these items I'm not gonna spend too much time on these items that I mentioned that I showed in my um, Christmas in July haul so again if you guys want to see all of these items and you can check that video out is it is linked in the i cards above and so I'm just showing you all the items that I got here. Everything that I got from the at-home store was 90% off. So huge savings on all of this. Huge bag. And on this bag, also items from the at-home store. These little pumpkins here, some picks and pumpkins there. So yeah, be sure to check that video out to see these items in, more closely and in detail. Now, I did just pick these up from Joann's um, the other day. They had their fall bushes for, maybe this was, this was considered spring. It wasn't even fall. So I think this was like 75% off or 70% off. So the regular price was $10. So I got it for about $3. Let's see here. The receipt's in here. Well, whatever. So I got three of them. I thought these would look very pretty as a topper on my fall tree. So pretty. So I got those three. And uh, there's just an initial here. And this bin, oh, I will say I have these little ornaments that I'm gonna put on my fall tree. Of course, these are from Christmas. And I got them at Walmart after season. So, but I'm gonna use them for my fall tree because I think they're so pretty. And I have a bin here full of fall leaves. 
So there's one hydrangea in there, but mostly these are fall bunches from the Dollar Tree and probably from Walmart. So just fall picks in here. Yeah, lots of fall leaves. So that's that, Ben. Now for this box up here, I have this fall sign that I got from Hobby Lobby. No, Kirkland's. I got this at Kirkland's. It was on sale last year. I'm not sure what price, but I will try to link that video above for you guys to check it out because I did haul it last year. So cute. So that's that one. I might, I might paint it. I don't know. Let me just leave it because maybe another year I may want to do the neutral colors. But anyway, in this box here, let me move this one. It's just full of bows and ribbons. Oh, and then I did get these. You guys remember this last year at the Dollar Tree, they had the harvest, the little pack of metal or galvanized words. And so that's one of those. But the rest of this in here is mostly just ribbon from the Dollar Tree. That's trash. So these are Dollar Tree ribbons, a variety of ribbons here. And the only thing, yeah, these are all Dollar Tree. These are from Walmart. I did show these last year. I got these, um, this wire burlap ribbon from Walmart. I think it was a dollar and the regular price was, I don't know, a lot more than a dollar, <laughs> like $5 or something. So I did get a whole lot of those. So you guys all remember this ribbon from the Dollar Tree last year. It's so pretty. I'll definitely be using that again this year. As well as this little pumpkin ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I did get this burlap from Walmart last year. It was on clearance. And yeah, and these are from the 99 cents only store. This fall ribbon in orange. That was the 99 cents. So Oh, you guys also remember this one from the Dollar Tree, this plaid. That was pretty. So with that, from the Dollar Tree, I also have, I'm not sure why this gray ribbon's in here. I'm gonna take this out. That's pretty, but that doesn't belong in there. So, um, let me take this one out. Now, so with all this ribbon, I have to add to that, <laughs> I'm gonna add in this ribbon that I picked up from Michael's after season last year. That's from the Dollar Tree. All of this is from Michael's after season last year. This ribbon was $15. It was marked down to, I wanna say like 90% or something. I only paid like less than $2, I think $1.50 for each of these large ones. And so that is so pretty. I got, let's see here, two of the large plaid. That's gonna be beautiful on my fall tree. And then I also got, so I got this green also. The regular price was $5 for this size and it was $15 for these sizes for the regular price. So like I said, I think I only paid like $1.50 for the large ones. And then, so these would have been just like a few cents. So I bought this after the season last year. That's why I can't really remember the price, but so pretty. I love that this is trimmed in gold. So I have several of these, and then I have even more of this one. So I have this pattern, this pattern, and, uh-oh, my finger's stuck in there. Okay, there's this pattern. So I picked up these three different patterns of ribbon also, and this one says thankful on it. I love that. I think this is so pretty. Just a beautiful, beautiful ribbon. And this one just has fall leaves on it. Also very, very pretty. And this one has fall leaves as well, but it's a more, kind of like a little, a busier pattern. So I have, I think maybe four or five of this pattern and then four or five of this pattern. And I only have a couple of the ones that said thankful because that's all they had left. So I took it. And then also they had these little 
plaques that this one says grateful and this one says gather and thankful so I'll add these to my fall tree as well so that's all my ribbons now for the next bin I have looks like this one's filled with my pumpkins but I have this little sign that says gather together that was from the Dollar Tree last year it's really cute so I have that and then like I said this one's filled with pumpkins I won't pull everything out but I will mention like this one's really heavy that one was from um, the 99 cent store last year it's like a paperweight it's super heavy and then of course we all were getting these fall picks. I got these from, um, I don't think I got these from, from Dollar Tree. These are from Walmart last year. But everyone did get from Dollar Tree the little pumpkins with the little clips on the back. I took them off the clips and used them as vase filler or something. So that's why they don't have the clips. But everyone got those from the Dollar Tree last year. As well as these um, burlap leaves. And those are so cute. I was so glad that I got those. And then, of course, we all got these uh, little pumpkins from Target in the dollar spot for a dollar. We all got these last year. I was I did the neutral colors last year, so I have a lot of the neutral tone pumpkins that I will not be using. Or if I do use them, it will probably be in other parts of my home. But I did have one in orange. And I got these little, this little pumpkin from Kirkland's last year. It was on clearance. The price says $9.99. I know I did not pay that. But so that one's very pretty and sparkly. I'll use this because I do like the color of it. And okay, yeah, that's a pumpkin from Walmart. Here's the other pumpkin. I hope that didn't break. I'm fine, baby. Thank you. So, uh, so this is another one from Kirkland's last year. And let me see here. What was that that fell? I knew I shouldn't probably dig through this all the way, but I think it was one of these heavy ones. Yeah, it was one of these heavy ones that fell to the bottom, so that's fine. And I will take this one out. Let me take these heavy ones off because I don't want another crash. Yeah. This is the one I was trying to get out because I already have these. You guys just saw the ones that I have that match this um, on my centerpiece in my intro. So I pull this out. This was from Kirkland's as well last year on sale. It wasn't on clearance. It was just on a sale they were doing. And so that's very, very pretty. And even though it's kind of neutral, I love the gold tones in it. And so I may keep these in my fall decor this year, even though I'm doing the traditional colors. But yeah, so that's that. And I have these little ones from Target last year, so cute. This is just a regular one from Walmart, you know, those. So, I should be more careful with this. I think that's it for this, but I will show you guys. Oh, I have these little ones. Oh, wait a minute. This, another one like that from Kirkland's. And I have these little ones from this one. I think this was from the Dollar Tree last year. So cute. And this little one from Target. So I just have a lot of those in this bin, these little ones like that. So I'm gonna carefully put these back in here. Oh, here's the one from the Dollar Tree with the little clippies on it. That one has a clip. Okay, so that's this bin of pumpkins. So let's move on to the next bin. Now for this box, I have, oh, this was um, items from my tablescape last year. 
So I have just these little leaves that I did get from Target. They were two for three dollars. And I paid regular price for that because I thought $1.50 each wasn't bad. So looks like I have all of my white pumpkins in here as well. So if you guys saw my tablescape from last year, you know that I used all these pumpkins as like a, um, on my on top of the leaves here. Let me move all this. And so just one second. So I have these beautiful white pumpkins on my table, on the plates, and so, and I think I had the leaf, them sitting on the leaf like that. So, yeah, I will try to link that video also if you guys want to check out my fall tablescape from last year, but that's what's in this bin, just all of the leaves and pumpkins from last year's tablescape so let me just bring you guys over so you can see that so that's in here um all of those white pumpkins came from um burlington's all the white pumpkins are from burlington's and this pumpkin frame was from kirkland's so that was really cute you guys can't even really see that <laughs> but so okay that's what's in here all these pumpkins that I use for my tablescape. So now let's move on to the next box. Okay, so before we go on to this bin, we will check out this one, see what's in here. This is just like a little half a box. Um, probably some florals or something I got from the Dollar Tree, and so I'm just using that. But I should put all this stuff in a bin by the end of the season. But this is a curtain that I've used in the past as a um, tablecloth. I got these from Hobby Lobby. Last year, these little pillow covers. It was $3.99. And you can see it's like the little shingle pillow covers. So I might use these this year. If not for in my living room, but maybe for the bedroom or something like that. So I have three of them. And so I think it's just one pillowcase in each. The regular price was $15.99. I got it for $3.99. So that's that. A little Dollar Tree sign. Some florals. These are from Walmart. Oh, these are from the at-home store. I see the tag in there. So I guess I didn't use these last year, but I know I got them on clearance because I buy everything on clearance. <laughs> So, but these are from the at-home store. That's very pretty. I will definitely be using these this year. Uh, another pack of those leaves from, the burlap leaves from the dollar store. There's a little basket here. I got this basket from Walmart. I do remember that. And I also got these little um, fabric pieces from Walmart, I think it was, and I made these little carnation flowers with it last year. So that's that. I'll, I should probably just throw these in my craft bin now so I could use it for something else later. So I'll just move this over here just to see. I pulled out these ornaments. These are Christmas ornaments that I usually put on my Christmas tree, but I'm gonna put these on my fall tree this year because I love that they're fruit and I love the rich colors in it. I think it's gonna look very pretty on my fall tree. And then when I'm transitioning my fall tree to Christmas, I could just leave them on there. So, yeah, so cute. So I pulled those out intentionally. They weren't, they were in my Christmas bins from last year. So I'll put that in there. And I just had them in this little tin that I used last year. I just tied some burlap ribbon on it. Not sure I probably won't be using that this year. Um, okay, so that's the basket. Then, oh, I have a whole lot of these uh, fall leaves, these burlap leaves. I have a lot of those. So I may do a DIY project with that. Um, let's see here. And just more florals. This lavender in here. Just florals. Yep, florals and florals and florals. And also, I got more of these little metal things, the little metal letters that I was talking about earlier. 
thankful harvest and welcome so I use these in my fall tree last year so that's why I had extras I'm sure so I'll probably do that again this year or maybe once I'm done going through everything if I still have leftovers I might um, like do a little giveaway or something with it so leave me comments down below to let me know if you guys think I should do a, a giveaway um, <laughs> I know you guys are gonna say yeah to that <laughs> I would. So anyway, these are some chalkboard uh, stickers. I picked it up from the Dollar Tree. Oh, not the Dollar Tree. Probably the King Dollar or somewhere like that. Because I've never seen those at the Dollar Tree. And I don't guess I ever showed you guys these items too. Dream and Relax. I could probably do a DIY project with this because I don't really... At the time I may have been into this, but now I'm not. So I could use the frames for something else. Maybe put this chalkboard... Maybe that was my idea, to put the chalkboard in these frames. Yeah, huh, that's something to do. And then just more florals here, and this is some of that contact paper from the Dollar Tree. So, yeah, that's that. So, I'll put all this back in here, and then we'll move on to the next bin. So in this box, this is my box of ribbons, and so mostly it's ribbon that I use at Christmas time. But I just wanted to show you guys that I did have more of that um, large glittery ribbon that I got from Michaels. So I have three more of those in here. And then the other items that I have for fall, this is really can be any season. This is from the Dollar Tree, the glitter ribbon. It's in gold, and I also have the orange. And I got these deco mesh from Walmart and it had to be on clearance for me to buy this because generally I wouldn't just buy this unless I'm gonna use it right away or if it's on clearance and I'll get it if it's a good deal. So that's everything for fall that I have in there. Okay, so for this next bin, I have my Give Thanks pumpkin towels. These are so pretty. I, I think I got these at Home Goods last year Maybe Ross, I'm not sure. But I know I got these ones from Ross that I did not use last year because I was doing the neutral tones. But I will definitely be using these this year. I think they're so pretty. And so I was just using them as a cover for everything in this bin. And looks like there's more just of the little pumpkins and bigger pumpkins. And so, yeah. <laughs> These cute little ones from Target. More of these from Target. Um, this little one from Dollar Tree. And I got these little acorns and pumpkins from Target last year. Maple leaves, these were a dollar each. I just saw the sign here. A dollar for each one. So I picked those up last year. And I also have this little Hello Fall. That's cute. I used that in a vignette last year from Target as well. So I'm not going to go through each item in here. But you can see I have more fall pumpkins from Target last year. These are so super cute. I love this kind of sage green color with the gold little stem on it. It's just so, so cute. Uh... Here's some that I did get from Dollar Tree as well last year. These are like the ones that I got from the uh, 99 cents only store, but these are from Dollar Tree. So they're heavy, but not quite as heavy, but I like that they have little metal stems on it. So those are really super cute. And I just have some pine cones in here and some more florals and just, yeah. More pumpkins. Oh, let me see. I will show you guys this one. Well, this is one that was from the 99 cents only store. I like that it's flat, so that's cute. But I almost forgot that I did find these beautiful pumpkins last year at Burlington. Whoopsies. And I did a giveaway of these last year. And I just thought this was so beautiful. Oh my goodness, these are so pretty. And so... It's white, but they might find a place <laughs> um, in my home this year. You guys know I do my bedroom in gold, 
and um, creams and so maybe these could be used as decorations in my bedroom but yeah that's so pretty so I do have another one like this I'm sure in here somewhere um, these picks I got from Kirkland's not where is that maybe this is Hobby Lobby yeah Hobby Lobby so I got that from Hobby Lobby last year when they were marked down not on a really big discount I think they were probably just like 50 or 60 percent off but I really wanted something with this kind of coloring on it which is perfect for my Tuscan theme this year so I'll definitely be using these and I may try to find some more of those and so yeah that's basically it this is again is from Kirkland's excuse me I don't know why I keep saying Kirkland's from Hobby Lobby so yeah so that's that bin more pumpkins and little pumpkin decor in there so now let's move on to the next one. Okay, so on top of this bin, I have this little sign that says blessings with the pumpkins behind it. I thought this was so cute that I did purchase this from Big Lots at regular price because I wanted to make sure that I got it and that they weren't all gone. But I love this. I did use this on my entryway, um, I think in 2017. But I don't remember the price and the price tag is not on here anymore. But I just thought this was so, so cute. That's the back side of it. So super cute, love it. And then this sign says happy fall. I might paint over this in orange or in like and then outline it with gold so it can kind of stand out, maybe some glitter. But um, yeah, that's cute. I got this from Ross for $4.99. So that was great price. Now let's get into this bin. And more foliage. <laughs> so more fall florals in here. And I think a couple years ago I had these in my kitchen above the cabinets. So yeah, that's that. And also I took apart a grapevine wreath and used it, I think, in my fall tree. So that's why I have all these little pieces there. And then under here, it looks like there's some vase filler and other kind of little pumpkins like that. Let's see here. Yeah, these are like little vase filler pumpkins. So I'll fill my lanterns up with those. And a uh, friendly reminder that I am hosting my fall lantern collaboration coming up on August 10th. Uh, our upload time is going to be at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I will have that video linked in the iCards above for you guys to check it out. So you can join me in showing us how you decorate your lanterns for fall. And so, yeah, I'm just digging around in here to see what all goodies I have. This cute little owl. And I did see this. That's trash. <laughs> this, um, this orange pumpkin, I got that from Target last year. Oh, and it still has the pretzels in it from last year. <laughs> um, so those little snacks that I had upstairs. So I'll throw that out for this year. But... Yeah, so I have that little pumpkin. And, um, there's more just fall florals in here, and that's about it. And so, uh, yeah, let's see here. I'm just... Where's the candy? So, yeah, this one is just filled with more, like, picks. So I'm sure that was from the Dollar Tree last year or something. And, um, yeah, just florals and picks in here. These little metal pumpkins were from the Dollar Tree. No, these are salt and pepper shakers. So I did use these on my tablescape one year also. So very pretty, so it's like a bronze color. So I'm just digging around in here to see what, what comes out. <laughs> so there's, there's mostly foliage down here, but then there's some pumpkins kind of tucked in there as well. So yeah, there's a full foam in here. So, okay, that's that bin. Oh, I will, I do remember getting these um, fall leaves from Dollar Tree one year, these glittery ones. 
those will be pretty in my fall tree so I'll have to dig around in here later go deep in this bin just to see if I have more of these because that will be pretty on my fall tree this year since I'm doing the traditional colors so yeah so that's this bin now for this bin I have let me take this lid over here I have in here some signs this one says give thanks with a grateful heart very pretty and looks like I have some extra grapevine wreaths in there oh here's some more of those leaves that I just mentioned that hopefully I could find and here's another sign give thanks that's really cute too let's see if I oh looks like I got this at Walmart $3.98 and this one was probably from Ross, but it didn't have a tag on it anymore. And these foals are very pretty. I have these little ant antlers that I got from Walmart last year. Let's see what's in here. Oh, huh, this is Christmas decor. These little church houses. That's cute. So I got that from Dollar Tree last year. This is Christmas stuff. So I pull that out and put it where it belongs. But as we look down in here further, um, I have this. I will definitely be putting these little curly cute things in my tree. Makes for a very pretty tree. These are from the at-home store. I know I got this on clearance after season. Um, I'm trying to show you guys these swags. This beautiful swag. I got this from Ross. I think I got this last year or maybe the year before, but it was $12.99 at the time. So pretty, so very pretty. So I may use these on my fall tablescape this year. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll make swags for my staircase and just put it at the banister on the staircase. But I have two of these in here. And I have these pumpkins. I got this from Walmart last year. It's super sparkly. Maybe not even last year. This was the year before last. Super sparkly pumpkin from Walmart. And then I have this one from this store called Burke's Outlet. Yeah, outlet there. Burke's Outlet. Very pretty. And just more florals down in here and smaller pumpkins. There's some smaller pumpkins in here like that from Dollar Tree. And some pine cones, which that actually, ow, that actually hurts. <laughs> so more little pumpkins. So yeah, just fall stuff. <laughs> Fillers and all kinds of stuff like that. Oh, here's some stickers. I just happened to pull that up. So we'll put those on the refrigerator, my little guy and I. And I was just looking at, the, here's another sparkly pumpkin back there from Walmart. And here's some small ones that I got from the Dollar Tree. So yeah, just more little pumpkins in here. So let's move on to the next bin. Okay, and here's my next bin. But let me say, guys, give me a thumbs up if you're still here because you are some true ride or dies <laughs> and you're sticking in here with me for the long haul. So, yeah. Now, with this one, I got this beautiful pumpkin from Kirkland's last year when they were having that big sale and I got those other pumpkins. And so, this is really large. I can't really get it in the full frame. But the regular price was $29.99, so I got it on sale. And it has a little kickstand here like that so it can stand up. And so, yeah, I have that one. Let's see here. Let's turn it around again this way. I may cut the raffia off this year or just cover it with a bow. But I think last year I left it like that. So I'll do something with it this year. So that's that. Now let's get into this box. Now for this box, let's see here. It's really light, so I don't think there's too much in here. So there's a couple of pumpkins in here. The styrofoam, which I needed when I did another project the other day. 
but I have that another towel in here and some chenille stems so that's for good for projects I have some candles in here these nine pack of LED votive candles and they're in like a coppery color if you guys can see that those are pretty more of the sparkly pumpkins and these are all pumpkins from Walmart this orange one that orange one you can see it has sparkles on top and it's like a reddish orange color and this one's just got a little bit of gold to it to this orange color and these are some of those fall leaves from the Dollar Tree like candy dishes oh that would be a cute little DIY I just thought of something yeah okay so I have that that's in here oh, I have this little pumpkins too I used those a couple of years ago as well and there's more vase filler or table scatter yeah so okay that's that box now for this bin I have um, another little sign from Dollar Tree this is some florals random little pieces but these are those beautiful rugs that I hauled last year from Family Dollar they were so pretty so this was the inspiration for my color scheme last year and so these are very very pretty but I won't be using them this year at least not in my main living spaces like if I use it maybe upstairs in the powder room or something like that but otherwise these will be out another year but these are so very pretty and I don't remember what the price was on it because obviously I took the tag off but they were only like maybe six or seven dollars from family dollar last year I picked this up from Walmart I have no idea why because this is so not cute <laughs> this orange is very bright that bow is very cheesy and I'm sure I did not pay $3.98 for it. I hope I didn't. <laughs> but I guess I could paint the whole thing and do something else with it. So have that. And then all these white pumpkins, all these pumpkins in here are from Walmart. These little velvet ones are so cute. They were from Walmart a couple of years ago. Really, really cute. It's kind of small. You can see it's like fits in the palm of my hand. And I have this white one with some glitter on it and a big white one there that's from Michaels this is an one from Walmart and I have some some more florals down at the bottom there I I can see now I do not need to buy any more fall florals I have more than enough <laughs> so those are there and more white pumpkins from my white pumpkins last year so that's in that box and last but not least, our final bin, I have more pumpkins, of course. <laughs> um, one of my first few videos on YouTube, maybe it was in my first 10, I did like my pumpkin patch and I show all the pumpkins that I had at that time. I should do that video again showing all the pumpkins that I have now because my little pumpkin patch has probably tripled in size in um, almost two years. So. <laughs> But I will show you guys, let me see if I can put this down and show you guys this beautiful pumpkin without breaking anything. Well, first I'll just say I have this little tiered pumpkin from Big Lots and it lights up, but looks like the batteries aren't working. So that's a cute little one, but I probably won't be using that this year. But... Um, and these were from Ross for $4.99. Those are very, very pretty. And this one is the one that I want to show you guys. I got this one last year from, um, what was that, Home Goods or TJ Maxx for $19.99 for this little pumpkin trio. I thought that was so cute. And it's in a gray color with like a metallic stem color on it so pretty I may try to use these this year somewhere but I thought these were very pretty and for $20 I just paid the regular price for that I thought those were so nice and then down in here I have more of the you know same 
little floral stems. I have these little things that I got from the Dollar Tree a couple of years ago. Those little pumpkins and these little fall leaves. And I put these pumpkins in our front window. My little guy helped me to decorate with these la that year. That was a couple of years ago. And it, these, they were so cute. It was really cute with the sparkly trim. So we might do something like that again this year. Uh, so yeah, I think that's about it. There's the other pumpkin. And just lots of more florals. That was a little DIY I did. And yeah. I think that is it for the bins. So now, let me show you guys some of my wall art. Okay guys, and here's one of my wall art pieces that I'll be putting up this year. And I did haul this maybe a year or two ago. And so, I picked this up at Ross, and I wanna say this large print was only like $40. So I was super excited to find it, and I used to have it hanging up in my living room. And then I took it down um, after the holiday season because I wanted to lighten things up. So I have that white wall art there now. But I will replace that with this. I think this is so beautiful. I, first, I love the clay pots and on all the earth tones. But considering I'm doing a Tuscan theme this year, this artwork fits in absolutely perfectly. So I was excited to have that. Next, I have this little family sign. And I think this is like Tuscan vibes. And so I may put this up. I used to have it up in our dining room and I took it down when I kind of switched over to the farmhouse look. And so I may put this back in the dining room area. So I'm just showing you guys that because it kind of has that Tuscan feel. So that one. And then also this one right behind it has the same kind of feel, this Tuscan vibes with this metal gate and so I got this from Hobby Lobby years ago I have two of them so I might put that clay pots in my dining room and put these two on the wall over my sofa in the living room because I have the other one that's upstairs but yeah I have this metal gate is definitely Tuscan it's giving me all the Tuscan vibes so I have that Okay, and then I have this autumn, it says autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. I did haul this sign uh, as well. So I, I can't put all those videos in the iCard, so I'll just have them in a playlist down below. I think it's called fall 2018 and fall 2017 playlist. So you guys can just check out those playlists if you wanna see all of those hauls where I show where I got different items. But I will be using this one, it was $14.99 at Ross. So I thought this was so super cute and for $14.99 and it has a little stand on it like that. That was really a great price. Um, then I have these pictures I did get from Hobby Lobby and I have not used them yet. And so I was thinking about maybe, possibly, potentially using these for my kind of Tuscan vibes. This farmhouse thing here. But guys, I will say Many of my family members think I'm crazy because I went from the Tuscan look to more like, well, I used to have like a traditional kind of Tuscan look to farmhouse. And so they're all like, why do you want to have barn houses and all things like that in your house? And so, but I, I really did like it. I do still like it. I just never did use this because I couldn't find a place for it in my house, but I might use this because I like all the colors is really you know nice for the fall so leave me comments down below to let me let me know what you guys think about this piece of artwork if you think I should use it or not and if you think that I could blend it into the Tuscan theme so yeah but that's that one it was from Hobby Lobby on clearance for $7.99 and the regular price was like $80 so I got that at 90% off, so that's why I got it. Same thing with this one. Never used it. This one's really dark, though, now that I'm looking at it. It's very, very dark. It's like got a metal that the art is on. So it's very heavy, too. So I may not use that one, but I'll just put that back there. 
Then over here, I have this little football sign. This should have been up in my husband's um, media room a long time ago, but it somehow it got mixed in with everything else, so it never went up. It was $2.99 from Hobby Lobby. The regular price was $29.99. So, yeah, I'll put that one out for him. And this was also from Hobby Lobby when I had that big haul. And I think I'll use this maybe like in the background and as a layered look and add more artwork in front of it. Or you could always use it as a tray like that. So yeah, this is a versatile piece that can be used in a lot of different ways. And so yeah, like it was $12 or $2, something like that, $12.50. So yeah, that's that one. Now, oh, I also have this that I got from Hobby Lobby when they had the big clearance. Everything was 90% off, but it says bonjour. I love the look of it. Maybe if I was doing like French farmhouse or something like that, then maybe, I don't know. I might try to incorporate this in somewhere. So I have that one. And I have this owl that I got from Big Lots last year on clearance. And it's a like a lantern for outside. You can put your candle down in there, but I used it for inside. I thought it was so cute. So I got him. And last but not least, I have my lanterns that I decorated last year. And I just left them decorated. I just put them in the closet already decorated like that. <laughs> and so I think they look really, really cute. I just have to decide if I want to keep these toppers with the plaid ribbon or not. But otherwise, I think they're very cute. I'll probably just leave it as is and set them back out upstairs. So, yeah, that is it. That's all of my fall decor. So I'm going to go through everything and pick out what I'll be using for this year. And then the items that I won't be using, I'll just put them back and store them away. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Leave me comments down below to let me know if you go through all of your decor and take inventory before you start decorating for the season. I like to do that before I start buying a lot of stuff also because I don't want to buy duplicates or, you know, have things that I'm not going to use. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so, so happy to have you here. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell for alerts as to when I upload new videos. For my faithful family members, you guys know I love you so very much, and I look forward to seeing all of you on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.